Bible Minute The Six Days of Creation Question, How Does Evolution Contradict Scripture? Don't know? Here's an easier question, this is Bible 101, what did God create first? The sun? Plants? Or light? Answer? Light, on day one. And God said, let there be light, and there was light plants, on day three, and God said, let the earth bring forth grass, and, the sun, on day four, and God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day. Here's another question, how much time passed between Genesis verse 1 and verse 2? 1 day? Hundreds, of years? Thousands, of years? Millions, of years? Or billions, of years? Answer? Less than one day had passed between verses 1 and 2 in Genesis chapter 1. We know that because Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, declares, in the beginning, literally, the absolute beginning. And, Jesus said in Mark chapter 10, and verse 6, But from the beginning of the creation God made them male and female. So there was no time from the beginning of creation for evolution. Let's take a quick look at the order of creation, and consider how evolution contradicts scripture. Day 1. God created the heavens, the earth, and light. He also divided the light from the darkness, and the light he called day, and the darkness he called night. Creating time, and establishing an approximate 24-hour day. He does not create the sun until day 4. Evolution has the sun before light on the earth, and the sun before the earth. But scripture has light on the earth, on day 1, and the earth, on day 1, before the sun, on day 4. Day 2, he divided the water above from the water below. Chapter 1, verse 6, And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters, and God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. There has been some debate concerning the use of the word, firmament. Some believe that. That is not the best way to translate the original Hebrew, some use expanse, sky, some say outer space. But, verse 8 states, and God called the firmament heaven. Using the same word for heaven on day 2, verse 8, as on day 1, verse 1 and using the same word for firmament on day 2, verse 6 as on day 4, verse 14. Job declares, he stretcheth out the north over the empty place, and hangeth the earth upon nothing. So it would make sense that God created space or outer space on day one of creation. It would also make sense that the firmament that God called heaven, on day two, is similar to, but obviously not the same as, the heaven in verse one, on day one. It is important to note that the word firmament is used to both describe outer space. For example, Genesis states and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And, to describe the sky or atmosphere because Genesis 1 verse 20 states, and God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. So, we will conclude that firmament might be better translated expanse. Day 3, he divided land from the sea and created plants. Before the sun, evolution has the sun before plants. But scripture tells us that God created plants, on day 3, before the sun, on day 4. Day 4, he created the sun, 
moon and stars, after creating the Earth on day one. Evolution has the stars before the Earth, and the Earth at the same time as the other planets. But scripture tells us that God created the Earth first, on day one, then the stars, and other planets, on day four. Day five, he created fish, and birds. Evolution has sea creatures before land plants. But, scripture tells us that God created land plants, on day three, before sea creatures, on day five. Evolution has reptiles before birds. But scripture tells us that God created birds, on day five, before reptiles, on day six. Evolution has land mammals before whales. But scripture tells us that God created whales, on day five, before land animals, on day six. Evolution has dinosaurs before dolphins. But scripture tells us that God created dolphins, on day five, before dinosaurs, on day six. Day six, he created land animals and humans. Evolution has land animals before trees. But scripture tells us that God created trees, on day three, before land animals, on day six. Evolution has land mammals before bats. But scripture tells us that God created bats, on day five, before land animals, on day six. Evolution has dinosaurs before birds. But scripture tells us that God created birds, on day five, before dinosaurs, on day six. Evolution has death before man. But scripture tells us that man was created, on day six, before death. Evolution has thorns and thistles before man. But scripture tells us that man was created, on day six, before there were thorns and thistles. The Bible is not a textbook on science, but when science contradicts scripture, we have the science wrong. As God declared to Job, where were you when I laid the earth's foundation? Why does it matter, that evolution contradicts scripture? The evolutionary worldview is foundational to the modern day acceptance of multiple races. It is foundational to the modern day acceptance of homosexuality. And, it is foundational to the modern day acceptance of abortion. The acceptance of evolutionary theory, is why we as a society, find ourselves where we are today.